Hello, I'm Tracy Campbell. I'm a lieutenant with Davis County Fire Department. We're out here at McCarty's today. We're gonna to do some heavy extrication training. Uh, the scenario we have today is a three car pile up involving a semi, a pickup truck, and a, and a small SUV. And uh, you, can, you can tell our scenario's uh, pretty complicated. We have one kind of lifted into the semi. And uh, in Davis County, we patrol a lot of the Audubon. We patrol the Natcher and the bypass. So we have uh, heavy extrication quite often. So it's important for us to train on it as much as we can. Some of the tools we're going to be using today, um, it, our extrication tools, the, we call it the jaws of life, the cutters, the spreaders, um, the ram. Um, we're going to use uh, Kodiak bars for stabilization because it's very important to stabilize the vehicles uh, before we go cutting because if we don't stabilize them, the, the vehicles can shift and move and make it dangerous for us. First scenario we had, we had a, one vehicle with a patient inside. Our paramedic got inside with the patient and, and held C-spine to keep the, the patient safe and his spine secure. And then we did extrication with our battery power tool. And this is just a little quicker access where we don't have to hook all our hoses up. And this is usually kept on our assistant chief truck. And th this is just battery powered only. So it made a quick impression on the door and, and, and pop the door for us to make quick access. It's probably less than three minutes it took to actually get in there to get to the patient and get, and get the patient out. In this scenario, we had one patient in this semi trap and Tim with the spreaders popped the door and then he went ahead and spread the door all the way off to get more access to the patient. We used our hydraulic tools here and we usually have one firefighter at the power unit controlling the power unit when Tim says power on blue or power on red for that he knows which one to power before we can have power to get the door open. And then we had the paramedic inside stabilizing C-spine again for the patient and then Ready, one, they went ahead two, and got the three. patient out. Steve, good. Done. Here we go. A lot of times these semis are over the road truckers where there will be several nights gone and sometimes they have two drivers and one of them might be sleeping in the sleeper in case they are in a wreck. In this scenario, we had another patient in the sleeper and we couldn't gain, gain access through that way. So we're gonna cut this side panel out to get access to the patient in the sleeper. We used our battery powered saws, our case saw and our sawzall to extricate them from the sleeper. And it was pretty quick with using both saws and this one might have been a little faster. We learned on the training, that's why we do this to see you know what, what works better in these type of scenarios. In this scenario, we have a SUV on its side on top of a semi. We have a patient inside this vehicle and we have vehicles on each side. This is the last patient we're trying to get out inside this vehicle. To be able to work on this vehicle, stabilization is very important. We have stabilization bars on each side where this vehicle cannot move at all. So that is the most important thing for we keep ourselves safe while we're extricating this patient out of the vehicle. We had a patient trap and the vehicle was, was higher up so it was a little harder extrication for the guys to perform. We used a ladder and of course the vehicle stabilized and we popped the door from the top and secured the patient on a spine board after they popped the door. And then we, we brought him down the ladder and secured him on the ground after we got it. So that, that, that was our last scenario. It was a little more difficult, but in heavy extrication is what we were doing today and we train on. And this is you know the reason why we do it to, to learn and, and what can make it easier for us. And that's why we do this type of training uh, as much as we can.